All right, we're going to review a little bit. Did the clock start yet? No. Good. Um, the apostles, I mean, this is Acts chapter 5, and the apostles were out doing what Jesus had commanded them to do. They were preaching, teaching, healing. Well, the Pharisees didn't like that, so they threw them in prison. Well, an angel of the Lord came and let them out of prison that night, and they went right back into the temple that morning and started preaching again. Well, the Pharisees sent the guards to go get them, bring them in. They're not in the prison. Well, and somebody else, well, guess what? They're, they're teaching again in the temple. Okay. Um, and so they arrested them again quietly, um, brought them before all the Pharisees and the religious leaders. And, and I'll start with verse 29. And they had told them, didn't we tell you not to preach in this name? And here you are doing it again. But Peter, but Peter and the apostles, verse 29, replied, we must obey God rather than any human authority. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead after you killed him by hanging him on a cross. Then God put on, excuse me, put him in the place of honor at his right hand as prince and savior. He did this so the people of Israel would repent of their sins and be forgiven. We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, who is given by God to those who obey him. When they heard this, the high council was furious and decided to kill them. But one member, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, who was an expert in religious law and respected by all the people, stood up and ordered that the men be sent outside the council chamber for a while. Then he said to his colleagues, men of Israel, Take care what you are planning to do to these men. Some time ago, there was Thutius who pretended to be someone great. About 400 joined him, but he was killed and all his followers went their various ways. The whole movement came to nothing. After him, at the time of the census, there was Judas of Galilee. He got people to follow him, but he was killed too, and all his followers were scattered. So my advice is leave these men alone. Let them go. If they are planning and doing these things merely on, the own, it will, on their own, it will soon be overthrown. But if it is from God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. Now, I want to leave a question with you. If you were arrested and brought into court for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Let me say that again. If you're dragged into court for being a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Thank you. <laughs>